Okay, hello. I am getting a new crab tank today, and I got, I started making a new gecko tank last night, and I'm getting my geckos today. But um, I went to the pet store to get plants and stuff for them, and they're really, really expensive. It was like 16 between 16 and $20 a piece, and I don't have that to spend on plants, so I decided to make my own. I went to a place called the Dollar Tree, and everything in it's a dollar, no matter what it is, and they've got some really nice stuff, and I got all the supplies to make these kind of plants. Um, the top is grass, and then the base is rocks. Um, I'm not going to worry about covering all of this down here because this will be under the substrate. But I made these for my lizards, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make some for my crabs because I'm setting up a new tank tonight, hopefully. Um, but I wanted to do a little how-to video because this has saved me a lot of money. I spent thirteen dollars on supplies, and I got enough to make at least four plants, probably more like six. And I also got some um, climbing vines and things like that that um, they're not quite as good a quality as at the pet store, but they were only a dollar as opposed to twenty dollars and I figure if I have to replace it in a few months then I'm still saving a bundle um, so I'm going to show you how to make something like this um, for your reptile tank it can be for lizards or hermit crabs or whatever you keep hang on one second I dropped half of my stuff on the floor Okay. these little discs come in packs of two at our Dollar Tree. I bought three packs of them. So that's six plants. Um, I start out by covering them with plastic because you don't want the styrofoam for crabs. You don't want the crabs to eat the styrofoam. And then also because your tank is a moist environment you don't want it to break down any quicker than it probably already will because this isn't professionally done so you will have to replace them from time to time but you're still saving a lot of money and you can put your own personal touch into it which is what I like because I like things to be my way <laughs> ask my husband but I'm just wrapping plastic wrap around and it'll stick to itself and be and be pretty tight, but if you want to be sure that it's nice and covered, you can um, double layer it if you want to. This one I think I'm going to put in my lizard tank, so I'm not going to worry about the double layer. But I bought, I showed you the grass that I bought. Um, these were all a dollar a piece. I got several of them. For my lizards, I put one in each base and then I covered the base with rocks. I think for my hermit crabs I'll probably put two on the base so it's nice and full and a, a good place for them to hide. But I think instead of making this since you've already seen one of those, I think I'm going to do one of the fern plants or not fern. It almost looks like hosta leaves kind of. They came in a bunch. I'm having trouble with this webcam. But they came in a bunch like this and I just cut off each individual leaf and I place them the way I want on the base. I would show you the one I made for the geckos, but it's in the tank already and I don't feel like pulling it out. And the tank's in the other room. But um let me get let me get some of these leaves broke off. Okay, see I just pulled it off. I don't have any floral wire cutters. I do, but I don't know where they are, so just pull them off. But, um, I'm also going to make a net. Um, fish net isn't the best thing in the world to have in your crab tank because if they get stuck, they'll drop limbs to get back out. But I think that if I can roll it and tie it, like every few inches, maybe tie it off with a little bit of fishing line or something, I can make like rope swing type things for them to climb on from from level to level because this new tank's really big and I'm going to try to make a bunch of levels like not the baskets not the kind that I have now but the like actual levels that they can live on with substrate and all kinds of stuff so what I'm hoping for anyway but 
screensaver turned on. Okay, I pulled all the leaves off. And you just put them down in the styrofoam like that. You can place them any way you want. Make it like a little forest. And I use foil in my to line the bottoms of the ones that go in my wizard tank, but I don't think I'm going to do that for the hermit crabs because metal's not good for the hermit crabs. So I'll probably maybe like wax paper or something, just something to give it a little extra security so that it doesn't get all wet and yucky. Okay. I've got stems everywhere. Okay. So I have my little forest of plant leaves here, like so. And to keep the leaves secure, because our little shelled friends like to pull stuff out of where it belongs, I'm going to use some hot glue at the base of every stem. Don't need a ton, just enough to secure it. I'm almost out of hot glue sticks, so I probably won't be able to glue this whole thing. But yesterday, when I glued the rocks to the base, I just used some hot glue and put the rock down on each spot. And I'm also running out of little rocks. These are about the smallest I have right now. And that's not even going to fit on the base. So I'll have to go dig up some more rocks outside and get those boiled before I can even do this, do the rest of this. But that's the an easy way to get tank plants and not cost yourself a bloody fortune doing it. And this is the end product. You've got your beautiful grass or whatever plant you choose in a vase with some rocks for decoration and weight. It's easy as that. Also, while I'm on here, I think, hang on, I'm having technical issues. While I'm on here, I think I'll show you what I mean about this fishing net stuff. I went to Hobby Lobby and bought a whole bunch of this stuff when I first started keeping crabs because I thought it would look really cool to have like a nautical theme, but I didn't think about the whole safety issue until someone mentioned it, um, so I took it out. But I'm going to try. And I'll just have to see how it works. I'll have to watch them when they're on it. But I'm going to try to wind it up pretty tight like this. See how tight that is? And every few inches. Um, like maybe not some fishing line or something else invisible around it to keep it nice and tight and secure like that. And then drape it from one thing to the next. It could work. <laughs> That's it. Bye. Maybe. <laughs>